One of the best training days that you can use to increase your sports performance doesn't even involve weightlifting. Yes, I said it. Think I'm wrong? Find out, because we're gonna start, right? <sighs> Moving through various planes, speeds, joint angles, all of these patterns are gonna lead to better motor unit recruitment. And if we have better motor unit recruitment, we're gonna improve our overall athletic capability. We're gonna be able to coordinate our muscles at higher speeds through all of these different situations. Every system of periodization should have some type of athlete day, exactly like how we have it inside of Peak Strength. We wanna focus on a leg power day, an upper body power day, and then prioritize that athlete day. That athlete day is going to have plyometrics. And when we're thinking through the lens of creating bigger muscular architecture, bigger size, we also have to think through, can we make this bigger muscle coordinated? Can we make it elastic, springy, very explosive? And if we're thinking through the lens of sports performance, we've got to do that with plyometrics. And so we're going to start in this workout with two simple movements. We want to look at, can we start with a bilateral movement that's relatively easy and a unilateral movement that's relatively easy? And that's going to take us into the first two exercises. So the first movement is going to be a tuck jump. And the reason why I want to start with this, you can scale it to your own capability very easily. I might do a tuck jump just here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, nice and easy. I know I'm not tucking super, super high, but I can scale that. Five triples, touch, go, touch, go, touch, go. If I feel really, really springy, I'm not here. Five triples. Now, we're gonna do three reps, and then we're gonna rest, and we wanna get into that unilateral position. So another easy unilateral exercise that forces you to be coordinated and more stable is going to be a single leg squat with a jump. Now, this is a great one because a lot of people, when they do single leg squats, they'll say, it's not the actual weight, it's my balance. If you're saying that the weight is causing you to have balance problems when you're executing a single leg squat, therefore you aren't strong enough to do this. In this case, when we're doing a single leg hop, this will drastically increase your balance and stability. We're gonna get on here and do sets of four. So we're here, we're gonna go nice and easy on that first set. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. We're gonna rest about 60 to 90 seconds, and then we're gonna get back into the tuck jumps. And just like I had said with the tuck jumps, you can scale this so that you know touch and go a little bit quicker. So we can go here, boom, boom. Boom, boom, okay? React quickly, have that dynamic trunk control, five sets of four on each leg, pair those back and forth, and make sure that you're building through those sets because these two exercises are gonna set you up for the rest of the sweet workout. I'm giving away one free swole shirt to whoever is the most elastic person. All you have to do is comment down below. Two, make sure that you have all of your channel notifications on and you subscribe to our channel. Three show up to our Tuesday YouTube public live so that you can find out if you're swole and springy. Lifting weights is great. <laughs> Lifting weights is spectacular. <laughs> Any system of training is going to have lifting weights as an integral part of developing athleticism. But having an athlete day is where the individual come into the gym and they're barely going to lift any weights at all. Instead, they're gonna focus on high-speed movements like plyometrics. They're gonna use reflexive movements, and they might use some weights that are gonna be drastically lighter to try and potentiate the nervous system. Mastering the body and moving the body as rapidly as possible is absolutely paramount to increasing that athletic capability, which then helps transfer that resistance-based training out to the athletic field. It's the bridge between the weight room and the sports performance world. And one common misconception is that when we're using body weight exercises, there's a minimal amount of force being applied. But there's a lot of research that will show us that even when we compare high load exercises with high speed movements, the force output is actually gonna be higher in that body weight movement that is rapid and more elastic. Now, every athlete day should, of course, start off with PVC pipe walks, especially if we wanna wake up that Achilles tendon, wake up our calves, wake up our toes, wake up that overall proprioception. I recommend doing at least 
five sets of 15 meters. And right now I have a little bit of plantar fasciitis, just a very, very slight bit that I can feel. And even just rolling on that helps loosen up that actual scar tissue, that little bit of tension that I have in the back of my heel. So we wanna warm up with this, and now we're gonna get into a little bit more complex movements on 2A and 2B. So the next exercise that we're gonna do is going to be a complex bilateral movement. If you have a single leg roller from Garage Strength, available at garagestrength.com, you can have this in your home gym and do easy movements like this and use these lines as guides. And I'm here, boom, 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 okay? That's one set, nice and easy. Now, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna rest about 30 to 60 seconds, and I'm gonna do step ups, jump step ups. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. And then I'm gonna come back and actually show you a third way. First way, I'm gonna go here, boom, 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 boom. One thing I'm gonna recommend, a lot of younger athletes struggle to actually get that touch and go down. They'll sort of go here. Little double bounce. And they actually will do a double bounce to try and recruit more so that they can jump off of that single leg. The second way you can do this, it's a little bit more advanced. If you're really good at the jump step ups with rhythm, you can go here and go boom, boom. I do like warming up that first two sets with the alternating jump step ups just to get in that rhythmic feel. Now, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you what to do here now on that second or third set when you're starting to wake up, you're starting to feel more pliable and a little bit more explosive. And guys, these are all exercises that we use inside of peak strength. A lot of you lack that elasticity, you lack that explosiveness. We see bigger hulking athletes out there, but that doesn't mean anything if you're not explosive. So. One of the big factors that we use inside of peak strength is planning athlete day with these exercises. Now, I'm gonna go here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, touch, go, touch, go, touch, go. Rest, 60 seconds about. I can get here and I can do with kettlebells. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe one or two sets. I know we talked about not using weight, but if we do one or two sets there, then we finish off the series with the last two sets. Okay, you're gonna feel pretty freaking springy. So use these as the second two exercises. Go back and forth, touch, go, touch, go, touch, go. That's gonna help you transfer. It's gonna wake up your glutes, your quads. You're gonna cut better, you're gonna be more agile, you're gonna be more explosive. <sighs> So the jumping never stops on athlete day. We wanna be explosive as possible in a unilateral position and a bilateral position. And we've got to come up with complex movement patterns and complex series of jumps that we can then look at and say, okay, this is a movement series that might occur in a specific sport. So then we can take these exercises and apply them directly to specific athletes based off of who we're training. And that's where this next jump series is gonna come into play. Comment down below if you've ever wondered why we have scaffolding behind us in all these videos. <laughs> so the next series, the next series of jumps that we're gonna be doing is specific to football. But this is something you could use for soccer, for basketball, for field hockey, lacrosse. It's very, very applicable. Now, this is also a series that we were using when we were training Penn State linebacker Jan Johnson, who ended up going to play for the Tennessee Titans. And ironically, I'm actually wearing his shorts today, totally by accident, as far as this video production is concerned. So this is going to have unilateral jumps that are gonna be moving forward and being explosive and springy laterally, okay, on one leg. We're gonna get into a bilateral jump, and then one big factor that I like is if we add a box at the end of this, we have to actually focus on decelerating pretty quickly. This is where we have this complex series, right? We've already done a whole bunch of different movements to really prime us, to help us feel more explosive, more elastic. This is one of my favorite complexes uh, for all athletes, really. So we're gonna go here, and you wanna alternate. So if I'm starting this one on my left, I should do two on my left, two on my right. So check this out here. I'm gonna go boom, 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 boom. And you wanna decelerate there. You wanna change the way, if you notice, 
I'm landing, I'm projecting forward, projecting forward, and then here, you're gonna alter that angle and you won't project as much forward because you don't wanna keep going, okay? So you gotta change that angle slightly. And the other big factor here, you wanna get to a point, I tend to come out of this and I'll sort of go boop, boop. You wanna to land together there, okay? Try and land bilaterally at the same time to try and coordinate a little bit more effectively. And I like to think about this as I have to cut and different angles, I'm maybe scraping and following a running back, something like that, if I'm a linebacker or a safety. And then I'm following here, follow here, then they throw the ball, I plant to go up for that pick, something along those lines. Try and think through those different series that happen in a specific sport, and then you can get a little bit more creative and come up with a cool complex like the Jan Jump series. I would recommend five to six sets, probably two to each side. It's gonna be a lot of jumps, but it's going to make you a better athlete. And so this is one of the 700 different exercises that we have inside of Peak Strength. And one of the coolest parts about Peak Strength is that we have Athlete Day, and that's the big differentiator. We take movements and exercises and get you stronger, get you bigger, get you more powerful, but then most importantly, help you become a better athlete, specifically on this Athlete Day that no other system utilizes. Now we're gonna close off Athlete Day with a neurological rewiring. It's essentially an infrastructure reset. And these are groups of exercises that we love to use all of the time because they teach co-contractions. And these are gonna be reflexive exercises. So we are good at squatting heavy, cleaning heavy, snatching heavy, benching heavy, doing these things rapidly. But we also have to utilize movements that are gonna force us to coordinate very, very quickly in different positions. And so we're gonna use a dumbbell snatch to box. I'm gonna give you two variations here. So we're gonna be here, okay? I'm gonna drop, dumbbell snatch, come forward. That eccentric portion is gonna lengthen your hamstrings, okay? And then we wanna react quickly and get out of it. So we're here, boom, boom. I'm gonna show you another version here where I wanna get a little bit more of that shin angle to drop. I'm gonna drop, snatch. Now, look at that shin angle, all right? Now a little quicker. I'm gonna go drop, boom, boom. One more. Boom, boom. And you can even play around with how low are you letting that drop. But if I raise this here and I project forward, that's gonna help me with acceleration. And that dropping of the dumbbell forces me to think about projection forward. Now, this next movement is something that we designed after doing a full analysis of Marshawn Lynch. If you are over on our Peak Strength channel, you've been fortunate enough to watch that video analysis where I break down how Marshawn Lynch embarrasses Ray Lewis. This is a Lynch series jump. And what we want to look at is learning this movement pattern, learning it slowly, 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 and then implement it quickly. That's the big aspect around training our nervous system. So the first thing that we want to look at is we're almost executing a side jump to a curtsy squat to another side jump. So think through that lens and we can make it piece by piece by piece. And then in turn, expedite the process so that we can transfer this really well to the football field or to the soccer field or to wherever we're playing. Just like this, we're gonna go here, boom, curtsy squat, jump. And then we're gonna go a little bit quicker. I'll show you again. And I, I do wanna do this on the Peak Strength channel. We're actually show you guys videos of a tremendous athletic feat and then how we can create exercises off that. So comment down below if you want something like that. Now we're gonna go a little quicker. Here, boom, boom. So think about this. We're looking at deceleration, hard cut, explosive out of that position. And one of the things that Lynch does is he's very good at keeping his shoulders square. He has tremendous mobility in his hips and his ankles. And that's where doing PVC pipe walks come into play. That's where doing those explosive single leg squats in the beginning. That's where doing even the pogo jumps. We've got to work through all those different aspects. So we're here, boom, boom. Okay, one more, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so use all of these different movements. Come in, hit the PVC pipes, then you get into a little bit easy movements. The tuck jumps, the single leg hops, and then throughout the workout, you get more complex, 
get to that Jan Jump Series, finish with the reflexive work to rewire your entire nervous system, head over to peakstrength.app. Download Peak Strength today. So you will have 700 different freak exercises all at your fingertips. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.